In today's video, you're going to learn how to make window envelope pockets. So that would make it a double pocket. I'm Donna and I have these envelopes that I want to show off because it's got the old postcode on the front here. I designed the envelope pocket after making this single tag style one, using up the old junk mail envelopes. To make the double pocket, you'll need two envelopes. This one will use the whole envelope with the postcode on the front, and this one with the window will recycle the window part of it. Now, I really like the idea that you can see the postcode through the window, or you can pop a tag in it if you prefer. So, okay, let's make this one up. Now, I decided to go ahead and tea stain one of the plain white envelopes. And what I'd done is I made a very quick video to show you how you can tea stain an envelope or a sheet of paper that you need on the fly. I needed this envelope tea stained real quick. I needed to use it right now and I didn't have any done. So go on, head on over and check out my, the video I just made right now, um, how to tea stain on the fly. And we can get this made now, because I just thought it wouldn't be the same if I made it in white. It just would not have, look at that, it would not have looked as good. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is turn this envelope into a pocket. We need to make the back a bit longer than the front here. So we'll just put a mark say just for instance we'll use this here just as a, a guide now with a sharp knife i'm just going to take off a very small slither off the side here and that'll open that envelope up there the same on this side very, very small slither off the side. It's going to make hardly any difference to the envelope at all. Okay. Then the same at the top here because I need that to open up so that I can turn it into a pocket there I've got a pocket but I'm going to shorten this this front piece here but I'm going to shorten it by tucking it to the inside but before I do that I'm going to fold it but I'm going to fold it this way first just to give it some a guide so that when I fold it back to the inside that it knows where to go so I'm just going to fold that over that way but I'm now going to fold it back inside. But before I do that, I'm going to put a little bit of colour on the ends just in case they're seen for any reason. And I'll get rid of my pencil marks as well. Okay, throw a little bit of glue here because we're going to send this fold to the inside. You might end up with a little bit of glue on yourself here, but you can't help it. So once it knows where to go, it'll just follow its, that line across. Okay, and there, because we've already made that crease there. Okay, so we've got the start of our pocket. Now this part here, all this is, is a mat on top. So we're going to glue a mat on top of that, but the mat will have this clear pocket in it. 
So you just pick the paper that you want to use. So what we might use is this one. We use this purple. So we'll trace around and it's only going to the top here and it will end up being a little bit shorter than the top. So it only needs to be to that shape there. Cut that out and I'm going to trim it down like I did before, a little bit narrower so that I've got that little bit of border around the edge. I'll go this way so you can see. So there's my cut, there's my draw line of the envelope, but I'm going to come back in a little bit. So we still need to trim it down some more. I'm going to trim it down there because of that little ugly dog ear from being packed away. So I know I can cut off that much because I'm going to cut off enough for the left side and the right side. There and there. And when I distress ink this, it will grunge this up a bit more and look a whole lot better. So there you go, got a little border around the edge. Distress your envelope. Just put your fingers in there. Don't pull in here because that will rip if you put too much stress on those corners. That's it there. Do the same on this. And just come in a little bit more. If this was too bright, like I said, you can grunge it up. The purple's a bit bright. Give it a bit more character. So now I've what I've done is I've put a piece of tape under this mat board here so that this that's only the size of the pocket. There is no pocket there. There is there inside the envelope is a whole pocket. But this front piece is only a small skinny spot for a pocket. And that is what gives it that nice look. It just looks asymmetrical. So we need a window. So what we could do is very easily use this here. So we want that to show like it does there. So we work out where that would go, say round about there. it here. It's just estimated. Everything is estimated. Handmade is always going to vary. It'll never work out the same. So I'm just going to trace around that. So I'm going to now cut this out and I will cut it out. So I'm going to cut before the corners, turn it around and work whatever way your hand cuts best and before the cross stop before the corners. It just gives me more control for when I'm ready going to in to cut the corners because I don't want to cut too far, too close to the corners because you'll then get a a weird corner. So you can see there I've only cut the ends and not the corners just yet. You can use your craft knife to cut the corners but I've got a swivel craft knife, a swivel knife and I'm just going to swivel around and cut the corners just by hand following that all that pencil line starting with the straight line coming around and meeting back to the straight line there. Same here just take your time because this is you know a feature so you want to take your time and you want it to look 
straight. Rub out. All right, I'm going to colour like coming up to the inside and just come around. Colour it the best you can. You only want a little bit to get rid of that white side, the white edges. And that's good enough for the bush. Okay, so that is pretty much in a good enough spot to show that area there. So now we need a window for it. So that there should fit perfectly. You see when I cut that out, that is the same size as that pretty much except for when I, well it was when I traced it and then I cut it out smaller, right? So because I cut it out smaller, I know when I cut this window out to reuse it that it's going to fit because I cut this a bit smaller. So you won't see any edges of this window. So we can just use this window here. I'm going to cut this and I'm going to use this as a cluster. I'm going to decorate this up later for another project. I've made a video on how to do that. So be sure and check out how I made those little pre-printed postage stamps. i cut this here. Okay, so we can now glue that behind there. So I'll put a little bit of glue fairly close to the edge of this. Not too close because I don't want it to leak out into the window. And I'm going to use the paper side of it just so that it will stick properly. And I'll also put a bit to the outside of the window frame on this side so that it I know that it's going to lay flat because I'm going to use the, uh, a part of this, this part as a pocket, remember? So we don't want any interference when we start sliding stuff down into here. We don't want it to, to be in the road. So we'll just put that there now, over there. One pocket. Looking good. Right now remember we're going to put a, you could definitely just leave this one whole pocket, one big open pocket. I'll show you how I made it a smaller pocket and then it's entirely up to you whether you have a slim pocket at the front here or a full pocket and have two full pockets. So what I've done is I'll measure roughly a centimetre there and a centimetre there. So I'm going to roughly put a line of tape around about here. That line of tape will roughly go around about there. I'll put a thumb hole there. So we'll mark to the centre. So it'll come from this side. So we're going to mark from there because that will be glued down. So our centre and it will be glued down there. So our centre mark will be right there. So we know that's our thumb hole. And you can make it as wide and as deep as you like. And colour that thumb hole up. It's always best to colour before you glue down because it is a lot more difficult to colour it once you've glued it down. And I'm going to glue all of this down flat on this side keeping my glue away from the edge again. It's 
going to lay flat everywhere here. Square it up and just got to remember that you've got tape here. As soon as it hits the envelope, it's going to grab. Oh, so there you go. I forgot to tape, forgot to glue that, didn't I? Why didn't you tell me? You probably did. You were probably yelling at me. Okay, so. Run a bead of glue down here before you do that. It's a, actually, it's probably not a bad error to have done because it is a bit easier to to place it to get it in the right spot. So now that's in place. All that's left to do is put a mat there. And that's finished. And what I'm going to do is use the other side of this to do that mat. So again, it's got to go down into the back. So we will make it a little bit deeper, right? It's going to be longer, so it goes down into there. So make it generous, not too generous because it's a bit harder to glue if it's too long, to there. Into there. That is the bit that we'll be showing there. So that's the only piece you're going to see. You always need to trim this to be able to have it to fit inside the pocket there. You, you want it to be snug, you don't want it to be too loose or you'll see all of this, which I think will give a little bit of ink to anyway, just in case any of the edges do peek out. I need that to fit inside. See how it's just a little bit tight? When you bring this back, Bring it back a little tiny bit like that at a time. Because if your edges show up, it won't look quite as good. This one here, you can have a little bit showing at the top if you want, but because it's the raw envelope and I can't color it like that side, it's the actual inside of the envelope. I don't particularly want to see that. So I want my mat to go all the way to the edge. So before I glue it in, I'm going to distress it. And we're ready to glue that in place. Now we're gluing the whole piece, not too close to the edge, because it's tight. But taking off that tiny slither did help. And wiggle it up. You can always round these corners too. If you didn't like them squared off. And that's it. It's, I think this is a pretty effective pocket, this one. Any loose bits hanging around like this, you know, you don't really need that flapping around those back bits. You could very easily have not glued this side down and use it as a flap to have in your journal. So you could open that up as a flip and journal behind it on your page. That would be lovely as well. For now, I just thought it would just keep the steps simple that I would do it this way and show you this is just a lovely little journal pocket. I'm Donna. Thanks for watching and bye for now.